Hi guys, so welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Mary. I give you guys an extra warm welcome and I invite you to join my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. I am pretty excited for this video and that is because we are going to be testing out some KKW products. Yay. This right here is the All Matte Honey Collection by KKW Beauty. And we are pretty much going to review it today and see what our thoughts are on this collection. So if that sounds like something you would like to see, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Please excuse my hair. <laughs> it's a mess. Okay, so I went ahead and purchased the whole collection. Um, it's been a while since I've been pretty excited over makeup releases and when I saw this I actually and honestly was truly excited. Um, it could be because it's like warm, warm tones um, and for some reason um, it's just mainly what I've been kind of gravitating towards to right now. Um, also I feel like Kim Kardashian is like a very classic beauty type of gal like she is not you know extravagant with her makeup like she sticks to her neutral she sticks to her matte shade she just stays classy when it comes to makeup and um you know i am a mother of three kids and uh i don't know i just feel like for day-to-day -day makeup this is the type of makeup that as of right now is what I kind of see myself wearing and that could be why I gravitated towards this collection um, this came out on February 12th so I am a little late on reviewing this collection I actually purchased this collection on February 28th but <laughs> I had some shipping issues. It literally had been two and a half weeks and I still had not received an email by KKW Beauty saying that my items have shipped. This collection is $195 for everything. Once I paid for, you know, um, taxes and everything, it came out to a total of like $211. So that is quite a bit of money. And I literally was going back and forth with KKW um, customer service. And I think it took five or six emails until they finally resolved the issue. And like as soon as I send them like my receipt from my PayPal account and the order number and all that and you know saying like, hey, this is $211 that I paid. And if you guys don't fix this ASAP, then I'm gonna have to cancel my order. And literally within like three hours, I received an email saying that my item shipped. All right, for the Honey Collection, it comes with three matte liquid lipsticks, a Honey One, Honey Two, Honey Three. It comes with three lip liners, Honey One, Honey Two, and Honey Three. It comes with honey blushes, there's two of them, a honey pot, and that is like a matte apricot, and honey love, which is like a matte soft peachy, and it also comes with the honey matte palette. Um, yeah, so I am excited to review this for you guys. Um, I just want to show you real quick the packaging. This is the unicorn. It's very pretty. It feels like a um, silky matte texture. Um, I feel like, please excuse my dog. Um, so I really do love her packaging. I feel like it's a very classy, simplistic, but beautiful packaging. A lot of people think it's too simple for the amount of money that you pay, but this is her aesthetic. This is, this is Kim right here. I don't mind it. I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, just wanted to point that out. All right, guys. So this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It's a very beautiful palette. It's simplistic and classy. This is what the eyeshadow palette pans look like. Super warm color tones. Blush, that is Honey Love. The other blush, this is Honey Pot. 
These are what the lip liners look like. Um, I actually don't mind them. I think it's a very simplistic but classy packaging. A lot of people complain about the lipstick and the packaging, but I actually really enjoy it. I think it's a very beautiful packaging. Again, simplistic and classy but I enjoy it. It's my personal taste for sure. All right, so I did go ahead and swatch everything. These are the matte lipstick bullet. This is Honey 1 with a lip liner, Honey 2 with a lip liner, and Honey 3 with a lip liner. Um, they all look very beautiful and they swatched very, very, very smoothly. All right, these are the two blushes. This is Honey Love, which is the lighter of the two. And this is Honey Pot, which is like the apricot color. Um, I definitely feel like they are beautiful shades. This one I had to build up a lot more than the Honey Pot. Uh, I don't mind at all. I actually really do enjoy when I have blushes that I need to build up just because I hate it when they are so pigmented that you literally have to barely tap your brush into them. So here are the swatches and I am super excited to get this makeup on my face. All right guys, my eyes are primed and I used my MAC Paint Pot. I'm going to do a very quick eye look. I honestly don't want this video to be super long. I just want to do a quick first impressions on the Honey Mac collection by KKW Beauty. So let's get started. As you can tell, I already have my base on. Um, since these are pretty neutral colors, um, I don't think it's going to have a bunch of fallout on my face, so we should be good. First color I'm digging into is going to be this one right here. And I'm going to use this as my transition shade. I did not set my eye primer. I never do, for those of you wondering. I don't set my primer. That's a super beautiful shade. It blended like butter, literally. All right, next shade I'm going to go into, um, let's do this one right here. And this is going to go on the crease. Like I said, guys, this is just a very simplistic eye look. This is the type of looks that Kim Kardashian loves. Those two shades blended beautifully. Um, I do own another one of her eyeshadow palettes, the So Fire eyeshadow palette. And I definitely feel like those shades also blend beautifully, so I am not surprised. Next shade I'm going to go into is this one right here. All right, I'm going to go into the lightest shade and I'm going to use that for my lid. Just kind of brighten it up a tiny bit. I don't want to go in with like concealer and like cut the crease. I kind of just want to lighten it up and then I'll go over with the other shades. Alright, this is what the eyes look like. It's a very super simplistic, all matte look. When I think of Kim, this is what I think of. I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette. For me personally, these colors just call my name. I mean, they are just beautiful. Beautiful, and the shades I used performed absolutely beautiful. I went ahead and used the same shades on my lower lash line. Now we are going to go into blush and we have two options. Now I can either choose one or the other or do both and I think I'm going to do both. Honey Love, which is the lighter shade of the two, I really had to build up but I am totally okay with that. I don't mind building up my blushes and this one which is Honey Pot is more of like the terracotta color so I am just going to dig into both of them because why not right and we can see how they look I do own 
a blush by KKW Beauty. This is not my first blush and I do very much enjoy it. It is a very classic like mauve color and every time I use it I absolutely love how my blush looks. I don't know why a lot of people hate on Kim Kardashian and her makeup brand but you know, like when it comes to makeup nowadays, because it is such a saturated market, there is not going to be a makeup brand that is like super unique, you know? And the thing I love about KKW Beauty, which since her and Kanye West are now separated, I don't even know if she's going to keep the KKW Beauty name. I mean, I hope she does. She made a name for it, so might as well, you know. So people hate on her brand, and I think it's because they say that it's too simple. It's um, the packaging and the stuff that she comes up with, it's not out there, you know, for her to charge what she charges. And honestly, I feel like it's actually reasonably priced. Like I said in my Jaclyn um, Hill Matte Liquid Lip uh, review, she's charging $18 for her lip liners and Kim Kardashian is charging $12 for hers. So it's like really? Um, I think that the eyeshadow palette itself is $45, which is average, you know, for an eyeshadow palette that is considered more on the higher end price. To me, I just don't feel like she's overcharging for what her makeup is. The one thing I love about KKW Beauty is that her makeup is what she says it is. And she has made a name of herself, you know, when it comes to her makeup. Like, people already know what she likes. People already know what she gravitates towards too. People already know her style and that is exactly what KKW Beauty is. She's not trying to sell it as a, you know, super innovative new makeup brand. No, she is selling her branding, which is Kim Kardashian. Basically, she's saying if you want your makeup to look like my makeup when I go on red carpets, when I go on interviews, when I'm on the show, buy my makeup. That is what she's selling, not a super innovative new makeup brand that doesn't exist out there and that's what i love about it is that she's being a hundred percent transparent she's being a hundred percent herself and that is what she's selling she is selling a part of herself in her makeup i hope you guys get what i'm trying to say <laughs> now for lips i think i'm going to go with the honey one I do love the fact that she kind of paired them together uh, just because sometimes, you know, especially if you're like a beginner, you don't know what to pair with what. So I am going to go in with Honey One lipstick and that's like the super nudie one. It's like a warm nude and I'm going to go in with the Honey One lip liner. But yeah, Kim Kardashian West, she has made money selling, you know, parts of herself, who she is, and that's what she's doing with her brand. And you either love it or you hate it. This is gliding on like butter. Oh my goodness. I know for sure that's one of the things that people uh, rave about her lip liners is that they just are amazing. Um, I will say though that because they are so creamy, you're probably going to go through them pretty quick. But at least they're $12 and not $18, like Jaclyn Cosmetics lip liners, you know? Just saying. <laughs> this is a very beautiful color. This is a very gorgeous lip liner. I really do love this lip liner. I don't have too many lip products with like this undertone, so I'm actually pretty glad that I purchased this collection. Now I'm going to go in with the Honey One Matte Lipstick Bullet. It's a very, very nudie color. It's all right though. We're going to go back with the lip liner. And oh my gosh, it is so creamy. This is definitely my first time trying her lipsticks and I gotta say, very creamy. All right, now I'm going to go back with the lip liner and kind of just blend everything in. I accidentally overlined my lips a little too much. So if they look crazy, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was not my intention. All right, and that is the lips. They look very beautiful. Now I just wanted to show you what the lip liner looks like once I've 
done with my lipstick. So basically every time you use this, you pretty much have to sharpen it. Um, the lipstick is very, very creamy. FYI. All right, let me go ahead and finish up my face and I can round up my thoughts on this collection. All right, guys, and I am back to give you my thoughts on the Honey Matte Collection by KKW Beauty. I did go ahead and go in with a KKW Beauty highlighter. This is in Glitz and Glam. It's a very beautiful highlighter. Um, like I said, I do own some of her other stuff and I do enjoy this highlighter. It's like a very super soft highlighter. It's not, you know, bam in your face, which I definitely enjoy highlighters like this from time to time. I went in with a matte for the inner corner and under my brow. I kind of wanted to keep it matte. Same with the lips. Um, I am more of a matte lip kind of girl anyways. I don't like lip gloss. I know. I do own lip glosses and I do put them on for like pictures, but as far as like wearing lip gloss on my lips, nope. I absolutely hate it. I've been wearing the lipstick for um, a little bit now and it's super comfortable. I honestly feel like I don't have anything on my lips, which is awesome. So my thoughts on this collection, I think it is an absolutely beautiful collection. If I did my makeup every single day, this is probably a palette that I would reach for every single day. Eyeshadows performed beautifully. The lip liners are amazing, super creamy. Same with the lipstick, super creamy. I can definitely do some swatches for you on the lips of all three of the lipsticks and all three of the lip liners, um, like a short little video of this collection. I can do that for sure. Um, the blushes, I own some of KKW Beauty blushes. Uh, actually, just one kidding. <laughs> I do own another one of her blushes and I absolutely love it. I definitely knew that I was going to love these blushes as well. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. Overall, this collection is just gorgeous. I love it. Like I said, when I saw it come out, I got excited and the fact that I was actually able to purchase it, I am just so happy because this is definitely um, products that I will be using a lot of. You know, if you are interested and you love these kinds of shades, I definitely think it's worth your investment. The eyeshadow palette is $45, which isn't too steep. Anastasia Beverly Hills is like normal eyeshadow palettes are $65. So so I definitely feel like even though it is considered higher end price, it's still a reasonably affordable price. Same with the lip liner, same with the lipstick, same with the blushes. You're definitely paying for the brand and the product, of course. But like I said, it's not a super innovative makeup brand and that is not what she is selling it as. She is selling it as a part of Kim Kardashian West, basically. If you want your makeup to look like hers, buy my makeup. And that's that's what it is. And I'm totally okay with that. I'm here for it. You know, I absolutely love it. This makeup look is like a super classy, soft, simple look. And that's what she goes for. And I'm here for it. Let me know if you picked up anything from the Mauve collection or this Honey collection. I would love to know. Let me know if you have tried anything else from her brand. Lip liners, lipsticks, eyeshadows, blushes, highlighters, concealer. Let me know. What do you think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for being here. I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. It would really help me out in the algorithm and hopefully bring some new and fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking that subscribe button. Don't forget to also hit the notification bell. Sometimes you don't get alerted when a video is uploaded from some of the channels that you are subscribed to and that is because you have to click that notification bell so make sure that you do that after you hit the subscribe button okay guys i will see you on the next video bye